All right. What I tend to do after lunch is I talk just a little bit about business, just like gives you a little bit more time to digest right before we, we jump right back into the work. I got into the, the business and the marketing side because when you sell a different service, you have to be much more aware of the marketing, packaging, merchandising, the business side of, of what we do. I, I think it's necessary for students to sell what I'm doing. I want you to ask your question again. Okay. My question is, is in the videos that I've watched of you is I know we're dealing a lot with the back, with the, the twisting and the, the pinning, but like, Normally when a client's face down, how are you working on like the erector spinae and how are you working in those deep areas close to the spine? I spend the least amount of time of any position other than seated putting the client prone. Mm -hmm. Massage therapists will spend 45 minutes out of an hour with the client prone. Yeah, in the past I did. I spend the least amount of time in my practice, other than seated, with the client prone. I spend way more time with the client supine and in sideline. My work is backwards. The client says, are you ready? My upper back and my neck. And if it's bad, I go lay on your back. And they're like, bro, I j I'm like, listen, I have 20 years in chronic pain management. Give me five minutes. Mat work. I put them on their back and I put my feet up here and I go, hey, right there, how's that with my feet? How's this right here? Oh, here, oh, here's the spot, okay. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit on Twitter and I'm gonna talk to Ice-T while I'm working on her for 30 minutes. And doing what? I'm pressing where she hurts, but when she's over my feet, what's she doing? Passively, it's opening the chest. And you're using their weight to... And I'm, I'm using my feet, I'm sitting here going, Hey, Ice-T, I just wanted to thank you. You showed me how to deal with haters with a big smiley face. And then I, I, I screenshotted something from his Twitter and I posted it on Instagram and I tagged him and he liked it. And I was like, yes, sir. Ice-T liked my post, right? Thank you. My work is in problem solution, but I deliver it in a completely different way. It's like, it sounds like, like you're going back to massage. The client wants work here, okay. right? Yes. So you're like, I have to put more pressure here. And what you're doing is they're like, okay, well the easiest way for me to access that is when they're prone, right? right. I'm flipping them upside down and putting them over my feet so I can save my hands again. How do we do it with table tie though? This is an inferior platform for body work. Too much sky in the mat, man. Sideline. When I when she put you on your side and she was pulling you open, was she pressing here? Yes. Because I and you have to absolutely. By the way, mm -hmm. when they say they have pain up here, if you go work on their feet, you lost them. They're not. They ain't no way. They they not gonna be happy if if that's what you did, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you some additional options because you're asking about this specifically. And what I think you're asking is, is there more? Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, no, there's so much. And here's what happens. The, the, the therapists think I'm against the table. They think I'm fighting this. And I'm like, no, absolutely not. I teach this and there are 20 copies of this entire class in that vault. I will continue producing videos for the next 20 years at such a massive scale that I'm gonna beat the massage industry down until they deal with what I'm saying. Here's what they don't allow, mat work. My students cannot, it is impossible for them to go get a job working somewhere because they won't allow what I teach. My industry, you think school owners want me to come in and talk to students? Dude, that throws a monkey wrench in their entire platform. Dina lets me in. Dina took a class with me. There were like three students in class. She, she opened the door and I continue to come here. But there's a lot of people who do not like what I'm saying. They don't like my message. It's like seeding rebellion, like an anarchy. Because the thing is, I'm not fighting the table. I'm, I'm just, once, here's what happens. If I keep showing you table work, are you ready? 
I keep showing you table work. What do the students do? Keep doing table work. table work. They get on the table. And when they get on the table, I go, you're doing mat work, you're doing mat work, you're doing mat work. And they go, oh. Because if I say it, they don't get it. Here's what I do. I use the table against you. I keep expanding and expanding and expanding and you start using your legs and you start using your feet and you want more and you want more and you're like, man, get rid of this thing. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Because once you know how to do it on a mat, I can do a lot of these things. That sideline stuff, I do most of that seated. I sit down. I don't use my hands. And I'm like, right there, right there, right, oh, right there by your shoulder blade. I'm like, and then I pull their arm and pull them into my foot. A guy on my Facebook page the other day, he saw me do something like that on a table, in a table tie class, and he said, I don't understand, how's this massage? And I said, this is what I've been saying for 12 years. If it's not massage, we don't need licenses in all 50 states, and I can teach the public. Yay! A hashtag freedom. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. I cannot. It is impossible. So like, I'm not in the business of like converting people. Does it make sense? If you want to do table, I'm like, great, table. I'm, I'm open sourcing tools. I'll give you more tools to deal on that. You Until are, when you get to the mat, you have 50% more tools. Your tool, your wall of tools is 50% bigger when you're on a mat. You have access to all, your elbow on steroids, your forearm on steroids, and your feet on steroids, your hands on steroids. These tools, just me coming in, do you know how revolutionary it was when I just started using a knee on a table? People were like, I don't understand. I've never seen anybody do that. All it was was me taking what could be done on a mat mm -hmm. and okay, yeah, I could still use a knee in the glutes from here. I can do that, and that saves my hands, and that approximates what, what mat work is like. Does it make sense? Yes. Do I want to work harder with these little structures? No. No, and that's all it is. I need a break. Yeah. At some point, could I demonstrate work in the back on the table and why it's inefficient compared to the mat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying this is permanent. I just need more... You want more tools. And what you've been showing us in your introduction to tabletop, I was asking if there's a little more in there that I can use. Is this temporary until I I, I walk the students tools. along. I'm going to ask you guys a question. How many of you have seen videos on my YouTube channel using suspension? I've only seen two, I think. There's, there's legal challenges and problems brewing. I'm going to have to go to my lawyer and go, okay, you. Can you keep me out of prison? Because I have global distribution on my side and the industry's fighting me and I'm about to drop the atom bomb.